Hello there, it's time to talk about some daily activities in Splatoon 3, especially for players who don't have all the time in the world to do everything and make sure you're not missing out on some great daily, some not so daily rewards. If you're a new player, I have several other videos helping you with weapons, items and other features of Splatoon 3 and if that interests you, consider checking out the rest of my content. I'll be listing 5 things that I think are the most important things to keep in mind when you log in to play and make sure nothing is wasted and should help you enjoy Splatoon 3 a bit more. Number 1 is your daily victory. The most important tip is to make sure you win at least one turf war a day. Splatoon traditionally has a first victory of the day bonus which is absolutely massive and should never be wasted. It takes less than 10 minutes to do a couple of matches in Splatoon and chances are you will win at least one of them and it's really important especially in Splatoon 3. Not only will this boost your leveling progression to 30, but now with the addition of the catalog system or battle passes, it's a safe way to keep your catalog leveled up. If you do only the first victory of the day, that nets you 7500 points towards your catalog, and if you do that every single day until the end of the catalog, that alone will give you level 64 out of the maximum 100, and the rest can be just gathered by playing normally when you have time. So don't miss this, it's the easiest thing to do every day. Number 2 is to check out all the shops. Overall, they've vastly improved the items and shop systems in Splatoon 3, and it's super worth to check all the items out every day once they reset. And if you have the money for it, I personally recommend buying everything each day. First, for gameplay reasons, it's nice to have a good variety of items for sets, so you can change later depending on the weapons you'd like to use. And the reason it's worth getting all the items is that if you get a duplicate in the future in the store, now there's a chance to buy it to increase the star level of your existing item, which will help you get those sub-skills. I've already seen multiple duplicates, so it probably happens more often than you think. Second, if you're a collector like me, I just like to have all the looks and items the game has, so I can play with more how my character looks like. There's not much else to say about this, I just need all the items. And now that you have the locker as well, you can play with how your locker looks, you can compete with other players who has the coolest looking locker, and it's just so addicting. It's like housing in any other game. You can also talk to merch every day and request items you like on other players by finding them on the streets and asking a delivery through merch. So many cool looking items I have only found through other players as the store is really RNG when it comes to getting good looking clothes and it can take a long time to get what you want otherwise so I would recommend making use of this feature. If you don't mind using smartphones then downloading the Nintendo online app is also recommended to use the Splatnet 3 application inside it where you can do a bunch of neat stuff related to the game but most importantly each day you can request the delivery of unique or even exclusive items to merch. The Splatnet also has a built-in QR code reader that you can use for reading codes Nintendo offers through in-game or on social media. Currently there is a Welcome to Splatoon 3 launch code on their official Twitter for a neat banner. Number 3 is the shellout machine. I wouldn't blame anyone for missing this. If you're not too big on exploration, you probably haven't even noticed this thing exists, but it's here in the lobby. It is a random gambling machine that can give you really rare items for the price of money. It's generally very expensive and I wouldn't recommend using it, except for its daily bonus, as the first pull on this gacha machine is considerably cheaper and if you're lucky you can get something rare. Now since I know depending on how much you can play, you might be short of money. I recommend to first focus on buying what you need from shops and only using the shell out machine if you have some left. My number 4 tip isn't specifically daily, but it can be a daily activity for you. If you didn't know, all weapons have something called freshness level that is supposed to be your proficiency with a given weapon. Every time you lose or win, this freshness changes and it can go through various levels. The most important part is that the first time you level up a weapon's freshness, you gain a silver sheldon ticket for a weapons shop that you can spend. What I recommend is, if you're comfortable with trying new weapons, I would try to rotate what weapons you are using every day or each time you level up the freshness of a gun and keep gathering those Sheldon tickets to speed up the process of unlocking each gun in the game. It's not a must, but if you're a fan of playing multiple weapons, it can be something you can rotate daily and it definitely helps gathering all the different weapons. And my final tip is for Salmon Run. While Salmon Run does not reset daily, it's important to keep track of its map rotation that you can do in your profile. Each time the map changes in Salmon Run, the bonus meter rewards also reset that you get at the end of each Salmon Run. And that means you can gather your capsules that can unlock valuable rewards such as 
money, money tickets, or experience tickets for faster leveling. Other useful rewards are also skill badges that you can apply to your items now for your perfect sets, but needless to say, the capsules are very much worth it, so I recommend keeping an eye out for Salmon Run map resets and making sure you at least get the capsules from this PvE mode each time to get some goodies. Well, those are my 5 tips that I personally like to keep an eye out for each time I play the game and I found to be the most important. Hope it helped and told you something you didn't know before. I have several more guides and other content for Splatoon on my channel that's worth checking out. I'm currently in fact making a weapons guide for each type of weapon, especially for beginners. But that is it for this video everyone, thank you so much for all the Splatoon support, you're the best and I'll see you all the next time, Bye bye